All right, I'm putting pack flow on normal. Or we have less than 115, so we can leave it on. Yeah, I. So yeah, the packs I don't touch forever. It seems like. Release parking brake. All right, I'm gonna release parking brake. Tell me if your brake released. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. It did. Okay. All right, we're. Uh oh. Did you see that light just flickered? Uh oh. Yeah, my my system just flickered like it disconnected the APU. All right. Uh, uh, did we forget? We forgot to disconnect the GP of the ground. Unit. Oh, did it rip off? Did you, yeah. Okay. We Set, owe somebody some money. Some money. Seventeen Camaro. Good morning. All right. Go ahead and change the engine ignition to start. Uh, we got to turn on fuel pumps first. Oh, you know what? Let me add that to the list. Uh, I'm yeah. gonna go ahead and turn them all on. Okay. Yeah, and the other thing was strobe to there. strobe to auto, right? Before yeah, taxi. It's on. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna add that to the list. All right. Uh, engine to start. You calling me to do that, or you? Yeah, yeah. Go, go ahead. Sorry. And then we have to. I think we have to wait like just a second. All right, go ahead and start number two. We got start. Oh, baby, this is working. The only thing that is, if if, if D Money's and I make it all the way to St. Louis, we might die upon landing because we have different airports. But this is true. I don't have an STL in my custom scenery, but he may. We didn't think we, neither. <laughs> I, neither of us had Dayton custom. Are you doing a control check? Uh, no. Complete. Huh. That's parking brake. Uh, that's because of uh, better pushback. It was doing that to me the other day. Too. Okay. I just set the parking brake. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Are you happy with your purchase? Of this plane? Oh, yeah. Okay, can you start number one? That's pretty cool. Toe is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal will be on the right. We'll see you next time and have a great I'm going to go ahead and start the clock. Chrono? Yeah. Do you, is that what you do when engines are started? You hit chrono rather than at the runway? I think you're supposed to do it as you're pushing back. Okay. And then you hit the cro Whoa, I just flashed. Then you hit the chrono button. So the clock... Uh, down there, you just cut on, and then you start it whenever, right when you're about to take off, if I remember. Okay. All right, let's. Uh, can you switch engine to normal? <laughs> so cool. And then, can you switch off the APU bleed and APU? And can you set flaps one, please? And then auto brake max. You just know where everything is. You've been learning. It helps when you know where it's roughly yeah. where it's at. Doesn't yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how you had that transponder code in so quickly. That was weird. I think you're. <laughs> you did that via Bluetooth. Uh, to yeah. my brain. All right, taxi light on.
and d uh, arm speed brakes. Some people arm now, and some people don't. I think you arm now. All right. Uh, clear on the left. Clear on the right. And one of these days, we really should learn that whole uh, after start checklist above the line, below the line. You know, try to be official as possible. That would be kind of fun. But I don't know. Uh, do you have a, sorry, do you have a rudder trim check in your check? I do not. All right. You might want to add that in there. We're, we're zeroed out right now, but I'm going to go ahead and reset it just because that's what I've done every time. So you hit, does it make a difference? It resets your rudder trim. So like, I'm going to offset your rudder trim, the okay. rudder trim real I quick. I see that. Yep. There on the left one three and I'll just hit reset. Have you ever seen it, it not at zero? Uh, I've seen it at point two when I started before. Okay, because the only reason I say that is I do this. This is not one of those FCOM or extensive checklists. This is just what you do to get in the plane and get going. And if that's, right. I understand that would probably be necessary, but it, it never changes. But if it if you found it at zero point two, then I think that's a, applicable. Yeah, I don't know if they have it randomized to just kind of be off. be within a. Yeah, be within a few tenths of a degree a little bit just mm. for you to check it. Now, the manual does say that within point two is within tolerance. So you could theoretically leave it, but I think, I mean, it would be cool because I have seen it different and not changed it. It would be if, you know, they just made it a little bit random every time you started, as long as it was within tolerance. I'm going to add it. Rudder trim reset. And would you, do you think we should do that after push and start? Maybe after speed breaks or arm, just double check that. I guess it's during tax or it's it's before, before taxi. Before but before taxi. Okay. All right. I'm gonna bring up my diagram. We're gonna make a left up here on Mike, and then a, a left on Romeo. And still clear on the left, and I'm taxiing. All right. In order to do the cabin, I think we just hit those yeah that is and then can you click the takeoff config test button thank you and we're rolling and I do have steering I'm gonna test the brakes oh yeah baby I'm gonna change my external volume because it's a oh is the volume control in that menu it is isn't it yeah Audio. Uh, how's your plane doing? So far, so good, but I've uh, I haven't really been looking out the window. Okay. You've been looking at your Instagram. Sir, <laughs> yeah. No, I've been looking, going through the manual as fast as I can to make sure we're not missing anything. Love it. This is so much fun. Thank you for joining me. You're welcome. Nurgle with the subscribe. What's up, gents? What's up, Nurgle? We're having, we're doing, doing, we're doing smart co-pilot, shared cockpit, shared fly we deck. We got a subcribe. Gonna make a left here on Romeo. What field is this? Uh, this is Dayton, Ohio. Yeah, K D A Y. J Snap. Good morning. I J Snap was one of the original guys that I did uh, shared flight deck with, or shared cockpit smart co pilot with. He and I had our adventures back in the Fly J Sims and the Zebos and the. Yeah, it's good times. I remember I crashed I cl I crashed an Alaska Disney air paint with him once. <laughs> nice. It was my fault because I put flaps out too early. K Day, yeah, Luciano, how are you doing? 
All right. It's only 10,900 feet long. Do you think we can get off this runway? Oh, yeah, just hold the brakes until you're at 50%. Okay. JSnap says it's a shared cockpit date. Un. <laughs> Henry's probably laughing over there in the corner from that one. All right, 19 ground speed. Is that a little? Is that a little southwest heavy? I noticed. Oh, I'm, I'm in a frontier paint, so you can go as fast as you need to. <laughs> I noticed that the CFM engines taxi quite well on idle. Yeah, they do. I was reading that that PDF that you sent me over. Chuck, is it Chuck's? Um, uh, Chuck. Chuck guy, or maybe Dogo, sorry, Dogo yeah, sent it over. That, yeah. And I was reading that, and it was talking about the differences between the IAE and the CFM. And I I couldn't put the book down. I couldn't put the PDF down. I, was, I wanted to know every little nook and cranny. So I learned about how one of them has, they do N EPR, and then one of them does... Um, the fan speed, and there, and they were talking about the differences of, of the fuel economy, and I don't know. It was just, I was just like, wow. You're gonna have to send me a link to that. It is. I'll, I'll do it right now in the chat. It is fantastic stuff, and I'm only part way through. Right there, it's. Uh, see if that link works in the chat. And it, and it, it's, it's specific to the FS Labs. But obviously, it's applicable to all the buses. So, yeah, Chuck has some good stuff. Yeah, it's amazing. I got to practice my dad jokes now that I'm a dad. Exactly. You have no excuse. Tim Rodeo is here. It does creep up, though, so I'm going to put on a little bit of break here. Uh, Dogo, are you satisfied with our weather that we have here? Because this weather's for you. Otherwise, we'd be uh, basking in the ortho glory. Are you pleasantly surprised at how well this is working, D Monies? So far, but you're going to curse it if you keep talking like that. I'm not even superstitious, but I might get that way. I, I actually am superstitious. D Money's is the uh, Snack Air CTO. He actually turned down the COO position and he opted for the CTO position. I tried to get him to be the COO, but he the salary wasn't enough to take on all the pain, <laughs> the paperwork of. All right, I'm going to hold short. Yeah, I'm going to hold short here. All right, you ready to start the uh, run and take off? Please, go, guide me. Guide me. To, guide Nose me. wheel light to take off. Oh, landing lights coming on. Runway turn off lights. I'm, I'm doing this from the uh, right seat, so it's hard to see all the way over there. Yeah. Uh, strobe's on. You have nice deodorant, though. It smells nice. Oh, thank you. t cast it. T-A-R-A. Uh, you want to leave the packs on? Yes. All right. Can you get weather radio or weather to uh, get weather to what? System one. Uh, how do I do that? It's uh, right there by your knee at the bottom on the uh, uh pedestal down there so weather system going to one yeah. okay and then predictive wind shear do we want that on auto yeah you can leave the rest on auto okay predictive wind shear i'm switching to auto multi-scan to auto and gcs to auto uh, those are those operable they're man uh yeah i can change them to auto uh you can I usually just leave them off. You can put them on auto. 
Okay. Then uh, go ahead and uh, once the runway is clear, taxi. All right. Dayton Towers giving us permission to fly. Whoa. What just happened? That's not right. Did you see that? It kind of just. Uh, what was that? No idea. A weather reload, maybe? That was weird. If D Money's is not the CFO, who is the CFO? Uh, I would say uh, we actually are looking for it. I don't know. Is, is Tarb our CFO? No, no, no. P Clax is our CFO. Yeah, P Clax is our CFO. Sorry. He's kind of our COO and CFO, but we'll make him the CFO. And then Tarb56 is the COO. He takes care of our FBOs. And then, um, yeah, we, we're actually looking for uh, an FBO uh, manager to report to Tarb for route management. So we're looking for, yeah. All right, so we've been told to line up and wait. Um, so on this uh, departure... Uh, I'm going to flex to 44 and try not to toga lock it. And then I'll ask you to put the gear up. And then I'll ask you to clean up the flaps after a bit. And then I will ask you to engage autopilot one. And I'm assuming that auto throttle automatically turns on. Yeah. As okay. long as you're in the uh, climb. Okay. Let's do this. Anything else? Oh, let me know when you're ready to go. We'll start the clock. We have our own lingo. <laughs> There's some something about auto thrust blue. No, 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 no ecam. Auto thrust blue. Something, something, something. Snack air on. All right, start it. Here we go. Here we go. Flex in 64. FPV Steve, good day, Merry Christmas to you. Puff MTD, good morning. Okay, trying to hold the center line. Engines are pretty loud. This V1 is way up there, isn't it? Uh, you didn't hold brakes to 50, did you? No, I didn't. Whew. All right, I <laughs> hope this runway's long enough. Well, it's 10,000 feet, rotating. All right, positive rate gear up, please. Gear up. Uh, flaps up. Speed barely checks, flaps up. Barely checks. Autopilot one. Autopilot one. And I think I switched to climb thrust here in now or? Yeah, you should be good. Okay, switching to thrust climb. Trying to fly by. Our gear's still up. Our gear's still down. I picked it up. Oh, there it goes. I don't know what happened. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we... We're okay. My gear's showing up. What is your gear showing up? Gear's up. up. Okay, that was an, in that was an interesting thing. Okay, we're going in here, and I'm putting on noise-canceling headphones <laughs> for the moment. All right, cool. All right, now All right, we're. Yeah. I'm assuming we're direct to VHP at this point. I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning up. Tell me what you're doing. Uh, turning off nose wheel light. Don't turn off the landing lights until 10,000. Did you copy that? Yes, sir. I don't think we're direct VHP. Nope, we're not. Right. Runway turn off lights. Yeah, you can go off there. Um, can you click uh, the DIR button and, and hit VHP? Oh, it's in, it's in the yeah. There we go. It's in the flight plan waypoint. Yeah, top one there. I don't have it on mine. 
under flight plan waypoints, you don't have VHP? Nope. Oops. Okay. Uh, I'll do it. I see it over on yours, but I don't have it on my side. I see it on yours, but not on mine. <laughs> oh, I'll, all right. I'll hit it. Hold on. I'm just going to go. Uh, I'm just going to go. I'm going to do this, okay? VHP. Direct to insert. There we go. Okay, the plane's turning. Off scale descent. How are you? Good morning. Aquafunkalistic booty wap. You saw the gear switch move when he said gear up, but it went right back down. Okay. Well, there's a smart co pilotism. Yeah, and so I've got VHP on my side now, too. But I'm also showing GPS primary in your. Yeah, I can clear that right now. I also am going to clear this discontinuity. So, uh. Oh, are you changing? Oh, crap. I'm not doing anything. Oh, crap. Temporary erase. Because it was changing things. Well, now, we're, now we're okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to leave them alone, but we got two completely different screens on our... Uh, yeah, I see that. All right, uh, go ahead and uh, let's go through the cleanup again now that we're above 10,000. All right, landing light's coming off. Let me to retract. Yep. We'll turn off the passenger signs when we get up to cruise. I show um, passing through 11.7, about 13... 100 feet per minute. Speed is fast. 320 and rising. What is... Uh, can you inquire with the engineer about going to 105% on the reactor? 